All right, full honesty, I'm in the tub. It's a little awkward, but I want to share with you the state that I'm in and how I transformed this morning. Uh, I've been using a process called Core Transformation by Connie Ray Andreas, taught to me by my teacher, Patrick Dominguez. And I've been using it for a long time, and every time I use it, I feel unbelievably good. And I want to share the process with you and what's happened this morning. I've been sitting in this blissful state for about 30 minutes now, so I wanted to share this vibe with you and how I got here. Basically, I've been having an awful week. My mind and my ego has been wanting things like this retreat or that trip with family or this guitar from my favorite artist, attachments and lack. I've been walking around my house feeling like, ew, this isn't the place for me. I'm bigger than this. And uh, all these stories of not enough and like needing more things and uh, accomplishments and appreciation from others. I've been feeling really sticky, really constricted and awful. So this morning in session with my therapist, I had her, well, I really walked myself through, um, but she, she held space, which is great, uh, core transformation. And the core transformation process takes you from feeling those feelings like you go to what you're feeling like I felt this horrible constriction in my solar plexus and just like oh it's I really want to be you know seen I really want to be appreciated I want to have a home that shows that I'm awesome and I just sat with that and then it's like in that moment like what do you really want I want to be seen as awesome and so I would sit with like what would it look like to be seen as awesome and I sat with that for like five, 10 minutes, like feel it, just soak in it, like totally marinate in, oh, everyone thinks I'm awesome. And just let that part have its greatest desire. And you just be with that and just let it love itself and imagine what would my life look like if everybody loved me, if I got the house that I wanted, I had the guitar signed by my favorite artist, all those things, just feel it. And then once you got it, you really feel it, What's even more important than that? And I went down and I found I wanted, I wanted to be appreciated and then I wanted my parents to respect me and to, to really be surprised at how good my life is. And I traced it down and down and I gave myself all those things that I wanted and it came down to these deeper states of really wanting, I wanted clarity. I wanted to know my life had meaning the part of my solar plexus, my human desire, wanted to know I have meaning for my life. And I gave myself meaning. Like, what is it like to have meaning? And being in that meaning, the feeling like my life had meaning, suddenly I felt clarity. And ease came over my body and my, my spine relaxed and my, my hips relaxed. And I was able to be like, oh, I have clarity that I can just be. And that being state to just be so potent. It is a core state as this core transformation process intends you to find. Can't go any deeper for me that today. It's like just being is this place of total relaxation, total bliss. Peaceful, easy feeling by the Eagles keeps playing in my head. And it's just like this softening through my system. And as I sat with that softening, is there anything deeper? Just this peaceful white room in my mind. At first it's a pink fluffy clouds and then it gets kind of more solid and it's this white room of possibility. And then I realized like I won't be a bump on a log just sitting in blissful meditation all day. Like this is a place I can act from. This place of like what's possible? What is my heart called to? And so I sat in that for like 15, we ended the session, I sat in that for like 20 minutes or so and just like really feel this bliss. This is all I want is this bliss of existence, just being. And then I walked back up the chain of all the things that I wanted, the appreciation, the clarity, and what's it like coming from a state of just being in total bliss? What's it like to want clarity? Like, yeah, I've already, I've got clarity. All right, what's it like to want my parents' appreciation? It'd be nice, but 
I'm just exactly who I am in exactly the perfect place. I feel so good just being in my skin here, in my experience that I don't need my parents' appreciation. You know, that, that'd be nice, but I don't need it. And just walk back up that chain. And all these other thoughts have been coming in and I've been just kind of like going to them with this. Here's the state of bliss. Like I can hold you and your desires of like wanting to get up and do work today from this plate of place of bliss. And I can hold my desire to uh, to have that guitar. Like, sure, I want that guitar. That'd be nice. But I'm coming from a place of bliss. I've already got everything in the universe inside me. The value exists inside of me. I don't need to seek it elsewhere. It's in here. And then, yeah, I could buy the guitar if I wanted. I don't. It doesn't change my life better or worse if I have it necessarily. It's so you know, that could be fun. Okay. And then I took this core, this core state of being, and I took it to my hips, which is where I hold so much of my tension, which squeezes my spine and like pulls me forward. And I just like sat in bliss in the, in the tub with my hips, which woke me up in extreme pain last night. And I was like, what would it be like to just share bliss with my hips? And as I do that, it's just this like, whoa, they turn under and they soften. And I have a feeling if I do this more, it's going to be like full body release of just who knows what. <laughs> 30, 40 years of stored tension. And it's like, oh, this feels so good to just know that I can just be in my body. It's going to relax into the state of its natural, its natural state. Relaxation. My teacher Aaron Abke said yesterday on video that one of his teachers that he had read said that the progress, something like your progress in meditation and spirituality is not measured by how long you sit or like how much hard work you do. It's like how much bliss do you experience in your meditation? And today I was like, I got it. Like this is it. <laughs> this is the state. And every time I do like a good hour core transformation, like I get to one of these states and then I can bring that into my life and crazy stuff is happening. I've, I've healed my sexuality with this core transformation. I've healed so many aspects of, of this mind piece by piece. And you just follow the breadcrumbs, you just follow it down and then you bring that core state back up. And I highly recommend reading the book, um, Core Transformation by Connie Ray Andreas. Uh, it's a, it's a great book. It's an easy read. It's an easy process. You can just you know do what I said here. I've actually been doing it with friends recently, just like going down, and we we sit for each other. It takes you know an hour, an hour and a half, or something like that. We sit for each other, and then um, you really just spend the time. Give yourself the time to give all your wounded parts what they want, and then find out what's underneath them. What's underneath them? What's underneath them? Until you come to these like states that we all are generating these desires from and bring those states back up, those core states, peace, oneness, just being back up and give it to the rest of life. And what's my day gonna be like resonating in this energy of just being? I have no idea, I'm so excited for it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I hope you got something from this.